What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going over a tool that I used to back up my hard drives that I could not live without. So last week we went over the importance of external hard drives, especially if you are a producer, an audio engineer, or just a creative mind in general. Now this is kind of like part two of that video because it does no good to store all of your content into external drives and not back them up because as we know, technology is finicky and fiddly and you definitely don't want to lose all the content you've worked so hard to create. Now the problem that I've been having is that I am constantly adding content to my main drives because on a weekly basis, I am constantly making more beats constantly adding more sessions, samples, making YouTube videos for you guys. And this becomes a hassle whenever you have to manually back up everything to your backup drive. Now, I'm sure there's a faster way to do this, but bear with me. But essentially for me, it was more tedious to remember and figure out what new pieces of content I had added to my main drives and then select those and, you know, drag them over to my backup drive. So what I would end up doing is just copying the entire drive over to my backup drive and that would just kind of result in about two hours of backing up. Now multiply that by three and you have a whole afternoon just gone. Now about two to three months ago, I came across a software called Carbon Copy Cloner and essentially what it does, it synchronizes and backs up all of my drives automatically and on a schedule. Now, this is where I'll put a little disclaimer because as you guys know, I use Mac and this software unfortunately is Mac only. However, I am currently looking for an alternative for this uh, for PC users and I will update the description in this video whenever I do find it. But I ask you guys if you know of a good alternative, something like this for PC users, please comment down below because at the end of the day, we are here to help each other. Nonetheless, let's jump right in and I'll show you guys what we got. Now jumping in real quick, if you go ahead and open up the software real quick, boom. That's it, Carbon Copy Cloner right there. Now, right off the bat, this is not the best GUI in the world, but I promise you this thing does what it's supposed to do and it makes my life so much easier. But essentially jumping right in, if you take a look, if you wanna start a new schedule, a new task is what they call it for your drives, all you would have to do is go up here to where it says new task, click on that. And as you can see, we have three panels. We have a source panel, we have a destination panel, and we have a schedule panel panel. Now I will be going over the individual features a little bit towards the end, but for now, I just want to show you guys how easy it is to set this thing up. So essentially to get started, all you have to do, click on this. So let's say I want to back up my sessions drive. Boom. Click on that. You got a little bit of Darth Vader action. Now automatically it tells you how much of your drive you have used up. So I have 137 gigabytes of this drive used. Now if you go over to the destination panel, click on that and I'm going to select my backup drive which is my five terabyte Seagate and I have three, Jesus Christ, I've used two terabytes of this. <laughs> so I have three terabytes free of my backup drive. And then last but not least, all we have to do is click on this. Now this brings you to more parameters that you can play with. So here you can specify if you want this to happen once a week, twice a week, three times a week, you name it. And then of course you can also specify the time and the day. So let's say you want it at 3 p.m. every Monday, it'll do that for you. Now coming on down, you see that we have more advanced parameters because essentially what you could do is you can postpone the task, the backing up, if there is something else that is also using or writing to your backup drive. So let's say for example, if I was manually copying something over to that drive and it was time for this to back up, it would wait until that drive is done doing any additional work. You can also go up here and, you know, kind of tell it if you want to limit to when you want this to happen. So you could say, you know what, just back up between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. and it'll do that for you. Other options include that you can actually have the software either wake up your system or wake up and power on your system whenever it's time to back it up. Now, this is useful if you have a desktop computer, if it just never leaves your studio and it's time to back up. Well, if it's turned off, it'll turn it on for you and back it up. Or if it's just turned on but not awake, it'll wake it up and do what it has to do. Alternatively, you can also just run the task whenever you manually wake up the computer. Last but not least, we have one of my favorite sections here, and I feel like this really was tailored for laptop users. So as you guys know, I run everything off my MacBook Pro. This thing comes with me at all times. It's not always here in the stand in the studio. However, my backup drive 
always stays here. So essentially with this feature, I can tell the software to wait until I am back in the studio and I plug everything back in to do what it has to do. So once you have everything set here, just hit done and you have your entire task schedule set out. All you have to do is hit save and essentially you are done. Now I'm gonna show you guys the task that I currently have set up for myself. From top to bottom, as you can see, we have the media backup schedule and this pretty much just backs up my media drive to my backup drive every Monday at 12 noon. Going down, we have my sample schedule and this backs up to my drive monthly because as opposed to sessions and uh, media, I don't really add new samples to that hard drive as frequently, so I just leave it on a monthly basis. And then of course, last but not least, as you guys just saw, I back up my sessions to my drive every Monday as well at 12 o'clock. Now there are a few features about this program that I absolutely love and that make my life so much easier. Now, as I mentioned, one of the biggest obstacles for me was being able to identify the new pieces of content that were in my main drives, select those only, and then copy them over to my backup drive. Well, this program does everything for me. So essentially what happens is that whenever it's time to back up, Carbon Copy Cloner will actually analyze whatever is in your source drive. It'll compare it to whatever is in your destination drive and only copy over the new files. So what would have taken me two hours to back up now only takes me about three to five minutes. On top of that, as you guys can see here, you have the option to copy all of the files from the source or only copy some of the files, which you can select here. And this really just caters to whatever situation you have going on. If you guys look over to the right, this also gives you the option to send an email every time a backup is completed or only send it whenever there is an error. Now this is extremely handy if you have a desktop computer that only stays in the studio, because if you pair this up maybe with like the, the wake up and power on feature, it'll wake up the computer, back it up, and if you're away, it'll email you telling you that it's completed or that there's an error. Now because backing up actually involves disk and CPU activity, which can have an effect on the battery runtime, the software also gives you the option to only back up whenever you're plugged into external power. Additionally, because now you you can download the desktop versions of cloud services like Dropbox or Google Drive, you can theoretically go in here and set your destination to be your Dropbox folder or your Google Drive folder if you have enough space and essentially create a, a backup task that backs up to any cloud service. And last but not least, this thing has a feature called Safety Net, which I really believe is just kind of like the icing on the cake. Now, if you take a look here in the destination panel in the middle, there is a drop down menu, which allows you to turn the safety net on or off. Now, essentially what happens is that when Carbon Copy Cloner updates the files on the backup drive or the destination drive, it also places the older versions of modified files and files that were deleted in a special folder called the safety net. Now, the reason for this is simply just to protect you in case you ever want to go back and access a previous version of that beat of that session, you name it. Now, the cool thing about this safety net folder is that it'll actually store and categorize everything month to month up until the point where your backup drive reaches below 25 gigabytes, at which point it'll just start to prune and optimize to make room for the new files. But of course, all that is customizable in the advanced settings. Now I'm gonna show you guys this safety net folder in action. So I'm gonna bring in my backup drive. Let's go over to music. Let's go over to samples. And as you can see, there is a safety net folder here aside from everything else that I have going on. So if I click on it, the first thing you'll see is that you have an RTF file, which just pretty much explains what the thing does. But if you take a look over to the right, we have a bunch of different folders all categorized by month. So we have one in October, November, December, 2017, January and February, because I just backed this up. But if I click on any one of these, like on October, it looks like I changed a couple things in my samples drive. Maybe I updated my B tags, you know, some other content from a couple of the fellas. But essentially, if I ever want to go back and access any of these files, I can do so because they are stored here. Now for the big question, how much does this cost? Well, at the time of filming, this currently runs for $39.99, and that is actually what I purchased it for back in December. Now, I'm of the mindset that if I'm gonna spend some money, I'm gonna make sure it's a worthwhile investment, and I honestly think this is probably one of the best $40 that I've ever spent because it saves me so much time, and it also gives me peace of mind knowing that all my files are properly backed up. Now, this video is not sponsored, but if you are interested, I'm gonna link this down in the description box below so you guys can 
get that if you want. But again, guys, that's it. That's what I use now to back up all my files. And I can't tell you how much easier my life has become. I don't have to think about it now. I just work and this works for me and it makes sure everything is safe. So there you go. But again, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, but I will see you guys on the next one.